Google is gearing up to launch its Google Pixel 9 series, which will include three models, the Google Pixel 9, Google Pixel 9 Pro, and Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. Recently, the Pixel 9 Pro XL was spotted on the Geekbench database, revealing some impressive specifications. According to the listing, the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL will boast a hefty 16GB of REM and will come pre-installed with Android 14. It will feature the new Tensor G4 processor, which promises faster clock speeds compared to its predecessor. The listing details that the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is equipped with an octa-core processor on a Komodo motherboard using a Shed underscore underscore pixel governor and a Malo G715 GPU. The processor configuration includes a high-performance prime core clocked at 3.1 GHz, three performance cores running at 2.6 GHz each, and four efficiency cores operating at 1.95 GHz. This setup strongly indicates the presence of the upcoming Google Tensor 4 chip, although it has yet to be officially revealed. According to benchmark results from Rosect, the Tensor G4 features a 1 plus 3 plus 4 core configuration, including a Cortex-X4 as the prime core, three middle Cortex-A720 cores, and four little Cortex-A520 cores. The Cortex-X4, also used in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, boasts a 15% performance improvement and 40% better power efficiency compared to its predecessor. The 720 cores show a 20% boost in power efficiency, while the 520 cores achieve a 22% gain. It's important to note that these devices are running pre-release software, with further optimization and tuning expected in the coming months. This context should be considered when evaluating the Antutu benchmark scores for the Tensor G4 and the Pixel 9 series. Here are the benchmark scores, including the Pixel 8 for comparison. Pixel 8 to 877,443 points. Pixel 9 to 1 million, 71,616 points. Pixel 9 Pro, 1 million, 148,452 points. Pixel 9 Pro XL, Komodo, 1,176,410 points. While these leaks paint an exciting picture of what to expect from the Pixel 9 series, it's essential to remember that these details are unofficial and may change. We eagerly await an official announcement from Google, hopefully at the upcoming Google I O conference. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section.